Diabetes is a disease in which your body cannot use the food you eat as energy. Most of the food is broken down into a form of energy called glucose or sugar. Sugar is the major source of energy for the cells. The cells in the body need insulin to be able to use the sugar as energy. The system works like a key and a lock. The insulin is the key that opens the cell so sugar can be used for energy. When the lock and key don't work, diabetes can result, and this can happen for a variety of reasons. For example, steroids. These medicines are used to control inflammation, swelling, and immune problems, among others. They're made naturally by your body. They're not the same as steroids consumed by bodybuilders. Steroids can cause insulin resistance. This means that even though your body is producing insulin, the cells are not using the insulin correctly. So the sugar starts to accumulate in the blood, causing high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. If you already have diabetes, prediabetes, or have been told your sugars are high, you're at a higher risk for developing steroid-induced diabetes. Other risk factors include obesity and a family history of diabetes. If you have diabetes or prediabetes and we're using pills to help manage your blood sugar, you may need insulin. Frequently, the need for insulin is temporary, and once the steroids are out of your system, the previous medications can be resumed. If you don't have diabetes, you may still need insulin temporarily. You can help by making good food choices, concentrating on good sources of protein, and limiting the amount of carbohydrates, starches, and sugars consumed during this time. If you're able and your doctor allows it, be more physically active. Make sure you're taking the medications and injecting the insulin exactly as your doctor prescribed it. If you'd like to know how to eat better, your doctor can arrange for a meeting with a dietitian. If your blood sugars continue to be high, you can request a consult with a diabetes educator. It's more than likely that the steroid-induced diabetes will go away when the steroids are stopped. But if you had insulin resistance before you began taking steroids, you may still need to follow a regimen that consists of oral medicines or injected insulin to keep your blood sugar under control.